Okay guys, so Griffin fell today at school. It is roughly five o'clock right now. Um, he's not acting right. He, um, from what we can tell, he is not eating. He said some signs of gagging, like throwing up. Um, very lethargic, and so we have to get him checked out for a concussion. He can't tell us. Uh, I gave him Tylenol. Um, he's still not acting right, and his pupil is not dilating, I think, on one eye. And he had therapists here. They checked him out. They saw the same thing. Um, all I know is at school, he was out in the playground, and he fell backwards very hard and hit his head. They called me when he was at school to see if we should take him to the doctor then. I said he was acting normal. Then he should be fine. He's fallen a lot in his life, but he's not acting normal. So we are off to the hospital. <coughs> And we're just gonna get him checked out. Can't hurt. Better be safe than sorry. So on the way here, Griffin pulled his sock off and is passed out back there. I don't know. I don't know if I should be concerned. I don't know. All right, I'm going into Children's Hospital. I'll keep you updated. Okay, guys, we are finally in. Um, it took us almost three hours to get in. We were in the waiting room that long. Now we're waiting for the doctor. Griffin is over it. He's wheeling around like a champion. Um, what did they say? His pupils, I don't, are okay, they said. But you can see he's still, like, super out of it. His eyes are just so out of it. Um, yeah, that's where, the, that's where they're going to come in at, this door. Um, the hospital is so, so busy. Um, Three-hour wait. It's, it was intense, but Griffin did a good job. Um, we're just, I have to check everything and make sure he's okay. Because, um, yeah, he's not acting well. He's not eating since noon, so, and he's not hungry and... Um, we just gotta make sure he's okay. I'll let you know what the doctor's saying. Hopefully it's all good news, but, um, I don't know. I just don't know. He's not acting himself. All right, guys, so, all good news. Um, they don't think anything's seriously wrong. They, because we're in the waiting room for three hours or whatever, um, he didn't get any worse, so they want to hold off on a CAT scan. They said no school tomorrow, and if anything changes getting worse, um, try to get the primary prize primary first. Um, and if it gets any worse, like vomiting or uh, not eating for 24 hours, then come in and then they'll want to do a CAT scan. They just think that he has a very bad headache, and he, you know, a bad headache can ring your bell, make you dizzy, make you nauseous. But yeah, I had to come in. I had to. I had to hear from the doctor that he's gonna be okay. Um, yeah, it was a long way. It stunk being in there that long, but Griffin's probably gonna be okay. I will keep this video going on till tomorrow just to keep a close eye on him, so um, you guys can see that he's doing okay and hopefully there's no issues. But yeah, no school tomorrow and home, and hopefully he'll eat something tonight. But um, we will see. Hello, it's the morning. It's. 6.20 in the morning, Griffin. all the kids are getting up for school. Um, last night, Griffin did eat something small before bed, so I'm feeling a ton better about how he's doing, but today he's not going to school. We're gonna keep a close eye on him too, just to make sure nothing changes. But yeah, he seems to be good. Let's see how he is. Yeah. He's coming down the stairs with Will. How are you doing, sir? Oh, oh that was a fall. Are you okay? Did you slip? I know. Are you okay? Okay. See, he's a little wobbly. I know. <laughs> the tablet, yeah. Are you okay? Are you okay? You just woke up a little cranky. All right, let's do breakfast. He's having his applesauce. He hasn't eaten any of his little muffins yet, but the fact that he's eating applesauce, I feel good. And he seems really like alert, which is really good. Huh. You gonna eat a, 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 a muffin? Yeah? No, okay. those are your muffins. Your muffins. Those are, this off daddy to need applesauce. No, thank you. <laughs> That's your applesauce. That's silly. It's your breakfast. It's your applesauce. 
All um, right, you eat breakfast. So Griffin's has his tablet right now, listening to some Hamilton because his favorite musical, which is one of my favorite musicals too. So I, he listens to it all the time, and I love it. Um, but he is doing pretty good. He ate most of his breakfast. I called the school. I am gonna get a call in with his special ed teacher just to talk about exactly what happened and to, to figure out ways to if there's a way to prevent it. Um, I know his walker has been broken for a few weeks now. Today it is getting fixed. Um, I'm hoping they'll use, like, that will be the solution out at recess that he'll be in his walker, the one that is meant for him. His one we have now is just, it's too small. And, um, so I think that if he uses his walker out at recess, that, um, this might solve the problem. Or someone has, you know, their hand on him, on his hand, a shirt. So, um, if he falls, someone's there to brace him if um, he falls. I don't know. I know the walker is hard because he loves to get in the tan bark and he wants to sit in the tan bark. And I know it's a lot of ups and downs for the teachers and him. I'm gonna talk to the teacher and see what she says. But um, I don't know. I am not upset with the school. I am, um, you know, it's the first real injury and I know they all feel really bad and they all care about Griffin. I know no one meant for this to happen. But for me, we have to talk about it, we have to find solutions, and we have to try to prevent this from happening. This kid is strong. He is nicknamed the Hulk. So I know what it's like when he tries to pull away from a teacher or, or pull away from me, what that's like. And and he can slip out of my hands because he is so strong. So I have, I'm not upset with the school at all. This was a total accident. And um, I'm just grateful it wasn't worse because uh, I've had him, you know, in physical therapy in July, I was with him, his physical therapist was with him, he had a seizure and he fell flat on his face and we were literally a foot away from him and his whole face got skinned. Like that's, that's the reality of Griffin's life. So I know some people would be like, you should be upset with the school, I am not. Um, I just can't be, you know, they're helping him and they're, they're, they're teaching him how to be the best, best Griffin he can be and Injuries are gonna happen. But yeah, so um, when I talk to the school, I'll update you on what they say and um, yeah, and keep checking on Griffin. All right, so the school called. So I talked to his teacher, so I found out the full story. I didn't know the exact story. So it happened at PE. He was in his walker. Um, something happened where he just fell backwards. So one of two things. he The walker, he picked it up and then it, it tipped him over or he had a seizure and it paralyzed him and he fell backwards I don't know um, she said that they're gonna try to keep him on the grass and tan bark and stuff as much as possible off the cement as much as possible but they can't prevent him from you know when we're walking to and from class I understand and then just have somebody with him as close as possible which he had his pair he had somebody with him but again like they can't prevent everything you know but they know that he's a fall risk, so they're gonna keep a very close eye on him. So that's good. So yeah, I'm gonna end this vlog here. Griffin is doing better. Um, I'm not concerned about anything. He seems to be just improving, not getting worse. So I don't think anything is like a brain bleed or anything happening. But yeah, we're gonna end this vlog here. Follow me on social media if you'd like, and um, we'll see you next time. And please don't forget, guys, you are wonderful. Bye.